this is the last section of the roots of polynomials and it's linear transformations of roots so linear means it's going to follow this type of format and what we mean by linear transformations of roots is that we take the roots of a cubic a quadratic or a quartic we do something to them maybe we multiply them by something we add or subtract something from them and we want to work out the new equation so basically it's something like this uh, we know the roots of a quadratic cubic or quartic okay we um, add or subtract and or multiply these roots um, by a linear function yeah so what do I mean by that so maybe well let's write down what these roots are alpha beta gamma and uh, delta if we we get that far if it's a quartic so we take these roots so eg I might take each root and multiply it by three for example so these are the new roots Yeah, etc. Or it might be that I uh, take away five from each root. So these now are the new roots. Or it might be I do a combination of both. It may be that I take the original roots, I multiply them by two, I take away one. Okay, so you can see what we're doing. So we do some sort of linear transformation to the roots that we started with um, and what we want to do is to work out what the equation is of this new function okay so we need to find the equation of this new function okay using the original one so the original one would be what you were given up here so you'll be probably be given the roots or you're given like what the equation is that has those roots and we want to find a new one so let's do a, a simple example over here to see if there's a, a quick way we can do this and then you can see what I'm talking about so a simple example might be um, let's say I've got this x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals 0 which I know when it's factorized x plus 3 x plus 2 okay that has roots of um, negative 3 and negative 2 right let's say that I take these roots and I multiply them by 3 so I take these roots and multiply them by 3 so now these new roots of this equation that I'm going to find has roots negative 9 and negative six so these are the new roots can i work out the equation of this yes i can i can just say well if these are the new roots this is what it was in brackets so it means it's this quadratic x, uh, x squared plus 9x plus 6x so plus 15x plus 54 okay so this is the new equation here new equation now what we want to do is is there a way of getting from the original one to the new one 
is there a, a quick way of doing that now um, just before we do that I'm going to change these X's to um, W's because quite often when we talk about this new equation the new transformed one we use a W so I'm just going to put a W in here now what I can do is this I could say that this new equation with the W's in came from taking the old equation the old roots and times them by three so I'm going to write this so think of this as being like the new equation and new roots from the old roots yeah so the old roots we're going to call x because they were values of x we times them by three and we got the new roots now if i rearrange that what i will get is x equals w over three now if i substitute this into the old equation do i get the new one well let's see so the old equation was x squared plus 5x plus 6 so x squared plus 5x plus 6 now let's multiply that out and see what we get so I'll get w squared over 9 plus 5w uh, over 3 plus 6. Right, let's multiply everything by, uh, well, it's going to have to be by 9. So uh, times by 9 to get rid of these fractions. So w squared then I've got 5 over 3 times by 9 5 over 3 times by 9 so I get 15 and then um, 6 times by 9 54 right so do you notice I got the new equation with these new roots there we go from the old one without having to put stuff in brackets all I did was say right the new roots were the old roots times by three rearranged it to make x the subject and then substituted that in here and I got the new equation and that's the method we're going to use to work out the new equation from the old one okay so we've got a cubic equation with this and we have its original roots we need to find the equation when the roots have been transformed and in part a what we're doing is we're taking the old roots they get times by two to get the new roots so how do we go about solving this well we can say the new roots w or the new equation we get from doing the uh, old equation or the old roots times by 2 we rearrange that to make x the subject so we can substitute this into the original equation so I have x equals w over 2 so now all we do is substitute w over 2 into the original equation and then basically multiply it out and simplify it to work out what this new equation is okay so we're going to have w cubed over 8 minus 2 times by w squared over 4 plus 3w over 2 minus 4 equals 0 so from there um, w cubed over 8 um, now if you do 2 times that we'll have negative w squared over 2 and then this stays the same so we want to turn those into whole numbers because normally it would say in a question give the coefficients 
of those terms as integers, which we're going to do. So if it's going to get times by 8 to give us w cubed minus 4w squared minus 12w, if you do 3 over 2 times by 8, minus 4 equals 0. So there we go. And that is the new equation you get when you take the roots of that equation that was given and you times each of the roots by 2. We're going to carry out the same method on part B. So the new roots came from the old roots plus 3. So we rearrange that to make x the subject. We substitute that into the original equation. So x gets replaced with w minus 3. That's right. And so the rest is just expanding out and um, simplifying. Right, so. Um, yeah, w squared minus 6w plus 9. So I'm doing the cubed bit, but I'm only doing two brackets. I don't want to try and expand three brackets all at once. And minus 2, so that'll be w squared minus 6w plus 9. The last bracket, I don't mind expanding that. 3w minus 9 minus 4 equals 0. Right, let's go to the first bracket again. So if I multiply these all out, I'll get w cubed minus 3w squared minus 6w squared plus 18w plus 9w minus 27. Second bracket will be minus 2w squared plus 12w minus 18 plus 3w minus 9 minus 4. So we just simplify that now. Now what have I got for cubed? That's the only thing I've got for cubed. Let's highlight them in colours first before we do them. Squares, I've got that one, this one. Right, so I've got squared one there as well, so they all want to go together. W's, um, in terms of W, I've got the 18, the 9, W there, 12W, and the 3W, and the numbers, I'll leave those. It just makes it easier if you highlight it so I don't miss anything else. You've got w cubed. Then I've got minus 3, minus 9, minus 11 w squared. If I've got those, minus 11 w squared. Then my uh, w's, 18 plus 9 is 27, plus 12 is 39, plus the 3 is 41. So plus 41w, and then I've got, no, I can't add, my w's add up to 42, not 41. Should have used the calculator. So negative 27, minus 18, I'm using the calculator now, minus 9, minus 4, and we get negative 58 equals 0. So this is our new equation. OK, so we've got uh, a quartic equation here. Uh, these are the original roots, and these are what, what the roots have been transformed to. So it's the original roots times by 2 plus 1. So what I can do, I can uh, say, right, the new roots came from the old roots times by 2 plus 1. So the old roots are equal to the new roots minus 1 divided by 2. And this is what I substitute into my quartic. So w minus 1 over 2 to the power 4. Minus 3 times by w minus 1 over 2 
cubed plus 15 times the w minus 1 over 2 plus 1 right so the rest is just now expanding this out and simplifying it now the uh, first terms when I expand them I'm going to get over 16 so I'm going to write 1 over 16 here and then I'm going to expand the w uh, minus 1 to the power 4 and I'm going to use Pascal's triangle to help me out when I draw it right so that I can do this quick so the coefficients are 1 4 6 4 1 and I mustn't forget the minus one, which is going to make terms alternate between positive and negative. So I'll have w to the power four uh, minus four w cubed cubed. Oops, put the cubed in properly. The next coefficient is going to be six, so six w squared, then minus four w plus one for the second terms um, that's going to be over eight so I've got negative three over eight which I can put outside minus three eighths here and then expand the cube so that will be w cubed again I could use Pascal's triangle three w squared plus three w minus one the last one, well, that's going to be 15 over 2. 15 over 2, not 12. W minus 1 plus 1. Now, I want to get rid of fractions. We're going to times everything by 16. So we get W to the 4 minus 4W four cubed. So basically, we get rid of that fraction at the front of the first one. And I've got minus 3 over 8. So if I take minus 3 over 8 and I times it by 16, I get 6, a negative 6. So everything in here is going to get multiplied by negative 6. Then I've got 15 over 2. I've got times that by 16, that's 120. And you mustn't forget to multiply that 1 by 16 as well. It's easy to miss. Right. Now, let's expand the brackets in the middle. And then we can collect like terms once we've done that. Right, so we get minus 6w cubed plus 18w squared minus 18w plus 6 plus 120 W minus 120 plus 16. Well, let's color code this. So my W to the power four there. Let's have a look at my cubes. There's one there, one there. My squares, it's gonna be that one, and that one, they go together. Um, what else have I got? What other colours have I got? Light blue. My W's. There. There. And there. And then my numbers. Put those in red. That one. That one. That one. And that one. Okay. Don't want to miss anything out. So final answer. So what's this new equation? W to the power 4 minus 10 w cubed uh, plus 24 w squared now what i'm going to now the blue ones so negative 4 minus 6 plus 120 I'm not taking any chances here if i work that out i get 98 w so did that on the calculator and then the last one is one all the things in red plus six minus 120 plus 16 
that's going to give me minus 27 sorry minus 97 equals 0 so the hardest part about this is the expanding that you need to do at the end and it's easy to trip up if you're not careful right you should now be able to do exercise 4e on pages um, 66 to 67 so all you need to remember is this the new roots equal probably um, not alpha but maybe a times the old roots maybe plus b it all all depends on the question like that so you would just rearrange it to say right well, okay the old roots is going to be equal to your new roots plus b divided by a depends on what a and b are and it's this that you substitute into the old equation so substitute into old you know what i mean by old original equation okay and that will give you the new equation which you just expand and simplify